Today I've travelled to Bristol. Uh, I've come to a company called NPE Precision Engineering. Now, if you'd have come to this trading estate six weeks ago, this unit uh, would have been vacant. And that's because NPE Engineering literally only started trading six weeks ago. And already they've got a brand new machine tool and three new customers. Let's have a chat with Conrad. Conrad. Uh, thanks for seeing us today. So what was the reason for the conception of the business, uh, Conrad, and how have things gone so far? Well, I started engineering like six years ago, and having worked for different companies, I've always felt, felt like um, there's something missing. Like working for myself will be, will be just doing my dreams at the end of the day, because I do love engineering, I do love cutting metal, and I do enjoy every second of it, right? And six weeks ago, or eight weeks ago, when we had that thought about let's do something for us right with me and my wife we said it might be a time when we are gonna quit our our jobs and start doing the engineering properly and then we found a unit we were quite lucky with it it's quite a nice unit so we find a unit we got in contact with um with Lit precision tools with brandon parrot right and um they gave us a good deal good um good deal on the finance as well we've bought a machine and well six weeks later we're here right we have three customers it's you're achieving your dreams, which is, is fantastic. I want to know, though, as well, because it, it, it's not that easy. I mean, you are doing another job at the same time as trying to build this business, aren't you? Tell us how many hours you're working a week for somebody else and also for yourself. On a normal basis, it's about 60 hours a week. But from time to time, we do push Contracting, that is. Contracting, yeah. It's um, 60 hours at a different place. And then it's about you know, quite a few more in here. Well, it's the only way to prosper, and I'm sure you're going to make a real success of this. Um, one of the things about when you start a company, uh, you, you must have had to finance this machine, or, or Lead Precision must have had to have helped you with the finance, because when you are, I mean, you had no trading history. How on earth did they go about securing this deal for you, and, and what sort of deposit did you have to pay? Tell us a little bit about that. I have no idea how they managed to secure it. For, from my perspective, I've paid 10% deposit, I only had a few conversations with the guys and it was all nice and easy. Like for me it was easier than buying the car. And I bought three of them, I know how to, how to buy a car. To buy that machine was extremely easy. Like it's like you've mentioned, no trading history, only my experience. And it took me about two weeks to get the machine in. in incredible, absolutely incredible. What about what comes with the machine as well? Because you also uh, purchased within the purchase, you know, they supported you with all, all of the tooling, all, all of those aspects as well to really make you hit the ground running. Yes, they provide me with, um, with a tooling package um, from different supplier. And, um, and the machine comes with different bells and whistles, like for spin the coolant and throughout coolant. And it's just really nice machine. Then. We had the, um, the application training with the guy from Ladwell. And I was thinking I know something about Fonuk, but Steve from Ladwell, he knows pretty much everything about Fonuk that there is to know. He knows, yeah, he knows everything. And from your experience, uh, the companies you've worked for, for many big, big name businesses over the years here uh, in the UK, um, you have used lots of different machine tools as well. Your selection of this Ladwell product didn't come easy, did it? You, you did do quite a bit of research. I think I've contacted everyone that I knew I could afford a machine. Right? So I've, yeah, I've got many, many different suppliers. And I've met Brendan from Ladwell three years ago when I was buying a different machine. And from what I know, from what I can see from that machine, it's well built and the price tag is not, it's not that high. So you can afford a very good machine at a very good price as well. And for me, like a startup company, that's all you need to have. It's a machine that's going to deliver and the price tag, that's not going to, you know. And, and do you believe, in your opinion, it will still make the same components to the same quality as, as others that are maybe available with maybe a higher price tag? From what I've seen with my own eyes, or from what I've seen via your videos, they do deliver. Even in 10 years' time, they will still making good parts, so, you know. And how many customers have you got? Bearing in mind this short window that you've been trading, you're making parts in here for a customer today. How many have you got, and how have you gone about getting those? Um, we have three now, none of them is local. We're still looking for um, two local ones, so, you know, fingers crossed. But yeah, we use, we use MTD Network to find some customers. We do our own research as well. We have some contacts, so it's all, you know, it's all waiting to happen. Like I said, we started that six weeks ago. We really just started a week ago when we, when we started having first customers. So it's, 
So what would you say to engineers that might be working for employers at the moment that really want to uh, do what you've done? Uh, you know, what, how would you encourage them to maybe take that leap? Well, from my perspective, I've seen that ceiling above my head and I don't like ceilings. I do like high ceilings or the ceilings I can't go through. And if, you, if you're happy about doing your job, do your job. But if you want to go further and you want to achieve more and you want to develop your skills and you, wanna, you just want to do your, you do your dreams at the end of the day, set up your own company and start doing it. Because the more, the more questions you're going to ask, what if it's not going to work out? You know, that's, that's not the question to ask. The, the question is ask, to ask is what you're going to do when it's going to work out. What are you going to do with all that time, all that money, all that everything you're going to have from doing what you love? That's it. So just give me a few words, maybe four or five words, or one statement how you'd summarize lead precision machine tools and the Leadwell machine uh, and your experience thus far with them. They are a brilliant company to, 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 to deal with. They, they supply great machines, great training, and it is really a great pleasure to work, work with them from start to finish.